good morning welcome back to another beautiful vlog here in bali and what it's like living in changu day i am meeting up with a lovely friend of mine and we are going for a little catch-up brunch at a very cute cafe in Brennanen. so stay tuned i'm on my way there now this is a new little cafe that i haven't yet been to but it does look extremely cute all the food's going to be absolutely amazing after going through some information with you guys about the community here in bali and what it's like living here in changu i want to also show you this girl's villa that she lives in just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of the different accommodation the different styles of living here in changu morning <laughs> anyways let's go to breakfast as you guys can see this place is extremely busy it is in the heart of Brennanen and this little cafe is called Honey I'm gonna jump inside give you guys a little tour Hi. 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 can I sit inside? Sure. Okay. so there is some seating arrangement on the inside as well as just here on the outside gonna wait for Cara to join us and then gonna dive in to the menu and see what makes this place so popular it's extremely busy there's people just rolling in and out on the main Perenanen road Jalan Pantai Perenanen what does make it quite accessible to the community of people living out this side it's also close to Changu it was only a five minute drive from Batu Belong and from the center of Changu here ideal little location the staff have been lovely What's so cool about Bali is that there are little dogs everywhere. No matter where you go, you'll always find local dogs. These dogs either stay at people's houses or they belong to the owners of the cafes. Anyway, they just are allowed to roam free and a lot of the cafes and businesses and restaurants and whatever allow the dogs to come and yeah, that's fantastic because dogs are beautiful. Hello, my darling. Long time no see. Hi. Good. How are you? Come sit this up. Cara. Hi there. <laughs> you probably saw her in, the <laughs> in my <laughs> other Gilly Mino video, which you guys can watch up here by her face. Yes, watch it here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your little life crisis. Oh my, my life crisis. What happened? I'm like, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, do I know what I'm doing with my life? Is this yeah. where I want to be? Like, is this what yeah, I want to be doing? Like, do I feel stagnant or am I just a perfectionist? Like, is this a trauma yeah. response or am I actually not doing well? Is too much working? Uh, yeah, I think, honestly, I think it's, it's too much working, but it's too much unproductive working. Okay, yeah, I get the same thing. Mm -hmm. like, when you have so much, well, you remember you said to me that you, mm. you do take on too many things, just yeah. like I do. When you want to get everything done, but you're not putting the time and focus into the mm. things that maybe matter, mm. and you're just getting overwhelmed by all the different tasks yeah. and roles and mm. things that you've got to be doing. It's such it's a thing. Like it's like, yeah, it's like when you do, it's okay. And then sometimes I'm a legend. <laughs> um. Thank you. Thank you. Do so you need some sugar for the coffee? No, thank you. Cheers. Oh, caffeine. Caffeine. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, that's pretty hot. 10 out of 10 hot. for the coffee and honey. Both in the comments. Coconut are milk you or oat milk? A oat milk person, a mm. coconut milk person, or are you the other strange cow person? <laughs> the cow person, we the don't walnut want those person, the cashew person. <laughs> Just oat or, oat or coconut. Okay, we're gonna dive into Honey's menu. Okay. There literally is everything here. There's literally everything you something would ever Something sweet, want. something savory. Smoothie Salads, bowls. smoothie bowls, sides. And this is only page one. I know, actually, I think I'm gonna get a ginger shot. That's just like my standard. Yeah, solid. Ooh, there's a solid. turmeric shot as well. Ginger a shot, beetroot. apple cider vinegar, turmeric, beetroot, lemon, or all the good stuff mixed together. Yeah, I'm like, what is that? That must be all of it. <laughs> yeah, please, Next Jesus year. Christ. I'm gonna try one of those. <laughs> so hectic. I was looking at this chicken avocado <laughs> salad. Ayam dengan alpukat. Hey. I'm learning my bahasa. 
So good. So I am a doer. I am then an avocat. Yeah. Uh, salad. What is salad in Bahasa? Salad. Salad. <laughs> good. Sayur and salad, yeah. Then satu ginger shot. Ketchup. Bahasa sedikit. Jadi dua chicken avocado salad dan satu ginger shot. Yeah. You want a ginger shot? Nah, nah. Makasih huh? banyak. Thank you so Thank you. much. Jeez, that is a big one. Yeah, that, that's like half a drink. Jeez. It's gonna be spicy. A flu fighter. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this all at once. You can, you can. This is huge. This is Training, like a, let's this go. Is a cup. This is not a shot. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Saya lapar. Saya lapar. You know what I mean? <laughs> lapar is hungry. Ah. I think. Let me yeah. know down below for so, my yeah. Indonesian su subscribers. Yeah. We currently are talking about relationships. This little dog has shown up for Kara. Where we're at. <laughs> the universe has answered your yes, message. Yes, this is it. Thanks. Kara, how old are you? I'm 24. Yes, Just we are both scared. Aries babies. Yes! When did you first come out to Bali? Um, so I first came out to Bali in 2019. And where are you from? Bit of a complicated question. <laughs> she lives on the street, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm South African as well. Yes. Um, born in Joburg, but I immigrated to New Zealand when I was when I was really young. So I grew up in New Zealand, but I have an Irish passport and an Irish name. Cara. Cara. So Irish. South African and New, Zealand. and New Zealand, but no blood New Zealand. Great. I just grew up there. I'm like culturally in New Zealand. Nice. Did you go to university? That's actually a good question. Oh, I did. You did? I did. <laughs> Nothing against university. I think university so... is great. What did you study? Well, I have something against university. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's really interesting, actually. I thought I was going to go to university for law. I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. Because my grandfather was one of the best, um, one of the best defense attorneys and judges in South Africa. Oh, wow. And so I was like, oh, that's totally what I want to do. And like, if anybody doesn't know yet, I can talk the back legs off a donkey. So I was like, look, let me. This going to be like an hour long. I know, I know. Just, just this breakfast is going to be like three hours long. Um, okay. So you were going to be a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you study law? So I wanted to do, a little bit. So I wanted to be a lawyer and then when I was 17 I booked a flight to Australia and I took my surfboard and I went around Australia and I dove the Great Barrier Reef. And that wow. was where I saw so much like death and destruction of the environment and I always loved the ocean but I was always pushed to do things like science and business and law and things that I was just like commercially good at, you know. Yeah. So after seeing that I was like, fuck law. <laughs> So I went to university and I studied two degrees. I had, uh, I did a BCom, yeah. so a commerce business degree, where I majored in. Um, That's where your marketing. entrepreneur mindset comes from. That's where it is. Marketing and entrepreneurship, actually, okay. were my majors. And then I also did a science degree where I was doing marine science, which is different to marine biology. So it's all physics and chemistry and biology okay. in marine science and kind of higher level ocean, like oceanography and things like that. Very cool. As well as conservation ecology, which was like environmental sciences. I was doing that and I, I the first year was a struggle because it's so generalized. So I did a lot of like psychology papers, I did commercial law papers, I did a whole bunch of these kind of accounting, a whole bunch of random papers. And then when I got into second year, I was actually doing third year papers. Because after the first year, I was like, I don't fucking know if I actually want to do this. So let me go to the highest level and see if I'm going to like this at the end. Yeah. And as I was doing it, I just hated it. I just hated it. I felt like my business degree wasn't teaching me business at all. Why are we not mentioning click funnels and SEO and Google ads and how to pitch yourself and how to start a website and how to become leaders in, in the industry and market share and all of that stuff? <laughs> Please. Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, this isn't really helping me in business. And then the science side I found really interesting. But they were teaching you how to be a scientist in a lab. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to be in conservation. I was like, right, there was this, there was one day where I, I decided I was going to quit. I was hating it. I was working three jobs and I was doing two degrees and it was just a nightmare. And you followed your dreams. And I followed my dreams. I was like, we were in this <laughs> one lecture where they it was about coral bleaching. And the professor would not mention climate change. And I, full 
full-blown had an argument with this professor. I was like, how can you not mention climate change? Our entire careers is going to be centered around this. We're not going to be prepared for the real world at all. Mm. And he was like, well, there's nothing we can do about it and it's too complicated of an issue to teach. And that's when I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm you fucking out of here. So I dropped out and then started working in marine conservation. And now I've done more for marine conservation as a photographer than I would ever have done as a scientist. Wow. That's the very long story so she of com- my university. combined her creative skills with her love for the ocean and her passion and brought those things together along with using her entrepreneur entrepreneurial yeah, there you go. skills <laughs> in order to bring that all together in order yeah. to create a successful career for herself. Yeah, it's been wow. a real combo. It's a combo, but that's what life is. It's bringing all your different attributes, your strengths, your passions, your purpose, and bringing it all together and combining that into a career that you want to put your heart on the line for. Blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. And when you work day in and day out at what you love, can't call it work. Yeah. It's passion. (laughs) <laughs> I saw a meme the other day that was like, you do what you love for a living, you won't work, work a day in your life. life. When the reality is, you work 24 hours a day. <laughs> that is true. You'll never stop working, but that is true. it doesn't feel like work. Nothing in life is just going to be given to you, so that is true. Both, And you will find every successful person has put in the hours and put in the time and effort yeah. into growing what they believe is where they want to put their yes thank you so much that was very very good very very good are you okay with the dog i think someone no, came we inside. love the dog <laughs> <laughs> oh is it not that is it someone inside <laughs> discipline equals freedom that is true that's what i really 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 live by it's like the you know the more that you have that that drive and that focused attention those focused goals and the dedication to to what you want to create the more freedom you have not only in the long term but in the short term it's like how we were saying like the more focused work you do the more free time you have on the more recharged you are and the more you can focus and get back to it the next day like i find if i'm unproductive but i force myself to work long hours to make up for it i, I just get in this role of like lack of productivity yeah, and then time, i have no freedom time management consistency mm. routines mm-hmm. three vital things in order to create a successful abundant lifestyle yeah yeah for sure for it's sure. not just work 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 mm. it's uh the balance is very very important yeah can you shake <laughs> yeah! random bali dogs are quite smart yeah especially when food is on offer <laughs> What do you love the most about Bali? Ooh. In in a one minute sentence. <laughs> the most thing, the thing that I love most about Bali is um, it always felt like home and I couldn't really describe it. I think it was just everything that I needed at the time when I got here in 2019 and it always felt like home since. I think the, obviously the nature is beautiful. I was so inspired with my work and my career and every single street I was just like, oh, this is so beautiful. Um, the people are so kind and so funny and, and just like, they're the best. They are the best. Whenever I've like, if I've had a scooter accident, they, immediately 10 people are there to help you. You know, like it's not it's not like that back home, like the personable nature of people and how open they are and how beautiful they are. That's so important. And I think ultimately just like ultimately the freedom that you have. Like in the in the West it was like everything is controlled. You know, there was just such, such a huge like I don't know, everything was controlled and I love the chaos that actually that's it chaos I am great. absolutely obsessed with the chaos weirdly it makes me feel calmer it's true because you, you, you have control of your own chaos yeah 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 you're not being forced yeah. into mm. a certain lifestyle aren't you you have mm-hmm. A lot of freedom of choice, you have a lot of freedom of opportunity. Mm. You have, there's no judgment of character. It's mm. like everything is accepted, Archer, within whatever mm. you want to focus your time on. Mm. And everyone's so individual. Like, it's true. You can but find there's still a great community. Mm. Mm. 
Like, but they're just so themselves. Yeah, is what I mean. That's like, true. like yeah. the fashion or the people. the way that you express yourself, or you can find any niche that you want to be in. You can find the spiritual yeah, niche, the photographer niche, or the yeah. traveler niche, or the business oh, people, the crypto surfers. people, the tech people, the surfers. The like, yogis. Any, yeah. Okay, the quality of the video might change a little bit because my battery is running low, and I've had to change it to 1080 and not 4K. Anyway, <laughs> quick, we have 20 percent left. Okay. What is one discipline? routine lifestyle change that you've made within your last few years that have that you've seen the biggest change within who you are in order to progress at your career like something that made a big difference that you decided or that you found out randomly or that you mm. took upon yourself to learn maybe it was a certain um, skill set maybe it was a certain routine within your life what mm was one thing and made a big difference in order for you to succeed and to skyrocket in your career? Honestly, I think the first thing that jumps to mind for me is that in the, in the last few years, I haven't had the best mental health. Okay. So the best thing that, and that was holding me back a lot. That was like a lot of fears and a lot of, you know, self-limiting beliefs. And I started to work really, really close with a therapist who's who's not really a therapist. You know, he's a, he's a doctor and he's a Buddhist monk and he's kind of like a life coach and he's a breathwork practitioner. And he introduced me to certain um, practices, breathwork practices. A certain type of breathwork changed my life completely. A certain type of meditation that changed my life completely. And then delving back through like mind hacking, delving back through to see my triggers and my limiting beliefs and, and rewiring them at, at the source. And that just opened me up completely. Then I was living in this in this vibration of abundance and of gratitude and um, less fear, and that was the biggest thing was getting out of my own way. It was it's more a trait that really changed everything for me than a specific thing. Because when you get out of your own way, that's such a you, can I really jump in? Yeah, it? such an Aries thing. And <laughs> I feel the same. <laughs> it's a um, my mom calls it like a bull in a china store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom too. We. <laughs> Aries are generally just quite like sporadic people and we want to just go, 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 go. And I think breath work, because it's also had a massive difference within my life. Meditation and mindfulness, you know, maybe for you, um, it's it made like a lot of clarity within your life. Like for yeah. me, it kind of just, it set me back and it managed, it, it made me feel a lot more calm where I was able to control my stress at a way better rate. <laughs> but breath work and yeah, meditation, I do a little bit mm. each day. Just learning how to control your breath has helped me in stressful situations, whether that's mm. during mm. activities such as surfing, yeah. whether that's being on a plane and hitting turbulence and you're being scared, mm -hmm. whether the other day I fainted because of something my thing my kidneys mm. bad bad little medical thing but anyway um i fainted and i was able to control myself in a very stressful situation mm. through learning a little bit about breath work and breath techniques yeah it helps in everything hey it really does it was the same with me with wow. wim hof and ice baths yeah learning how to control your and you just feel like a legend yeah. you know what i mean you're sitting in a fucking freezer full of <laughs> ice and you're like i've got this for like minutes on end and you're just you suffering do, you go to avenue so. yeah 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 it's so, so good, good. it's I love it. so good like just learning how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations has led me to being comfortable in uncomfortable situations that's very true love it's that. like immediately you know your your life changes and certain things like certain books becoming supernatural has been huge for me books yeah that's a, a massive game changer if you don't read and you're not reading yet yeah. do it jump onto I the listen books. To books i actually wasn't taught how to read um, <laughs> if you can't read no. listen to the audiobooks it's uh some people I are find it. I'm vision an auditory learners left. some are auditory learners mm. whatever your best way of taking in knowledge mm. and uh, learning new things mm. do it but books are a game changer so my battery died out at the cafe anyway ran home and have come back now to show you guys Cara's villa where she stays here in Changu and continue our little discussion and get to know of her because she is a very interesting girl 
and a very, very successful human being. Hello! Hello. Welcome home! <laughs> wow, okay, so this is Cara's villa that she stays in. Are you willing to give us a little tour, Cara? Yeah, you want a house? I, I just need to thing. say that my roommate is the one who is <laughs> really <laughs> close to my face. I'm like, hello. Who has made the place dirty? Uh, start you. No, no. <laughs> no, my roommate, Alex, um, she is the best thing in the world. She, shout out to Alex. Big shout out to Alex. She's also an incredible travel um, blogger, so like, go check her out. But she's custom made all of the furniture in the house. She's the one who kind of found the house and moved in first, so like... Anyway, Alex is not here. She is out traveling. Where's she go? She is in San Diego. She is quite the famous travel blogger. Cara is going to do our little house villa tour for us. Yes, okay, so this is the kind of like lounge kitchen area. I love all like the little details that are kind of like around. I don't know. We've got to put like stones and stuff in the pot yes. so that our cat doesn't poop in the pot. <laughs> um, <laughs> this mirror is really cool. So it's actually it's nice for selfies. An old, I know it's like <laughs> such a good mirror. But yeah, it's actually an, uh, an this old is Balinese door that Alex got custom made into a mirror frame and then put the mirror in Herself. We're a bit of a musical house, so we've got like guitars and pianos, um, and then all of our furniture, and then this is the kitchen. Very cute. It's just a little kitchen, but that's kind of all we Whose need. Whose fancy home is this? I don't know. That Alex's helmet. Very cool. Gotta be done, gotta be done. This area of the house is really weird, like it's built really weirdly. But we've got like a washing machine, which is never seen in Bali. This is like a very mm. rare sight. <laughs> um, <laughs> The surfboards, we've got like secret garden number one. Cool, I didn't even know you had this back here. I know. Can I just pitch a tent back here? Yeah, you could, yeah. I would have happily lived the archer in the, <laughs> in the jungle of Bali. <laughs> if this vlog doesn't get a hundred likes, I will be oh, broke no. and have to come and camp in Cara's backyard. This is the first room. This, this is, is Alex's room. Alex's room, my photography on the wall. Mm -hmm. wow. um, we've got, um, this is some of Cara's artwork. That's actually Alex. Very also. cool. <laughs> so shout out to Alex. Shout out um, to Alex. <laughs> and then we've got this is the weirdest thing with the rooms, right? That's the bathroom on the right. Bathroom. On the left, the door just goes into this weird, tiny, like other secret garden. It's very weird. And then there's another garden out the back of that bathroom. What? It's very, very cool. Weird. Do you want to come see? Yeah, I've got one. Definitely want to see the weird ass little secret garden. Yeah, this is a secret garden number one. Sorry, I've cleaned this. Because needs the bathroom. Stuck everything. Yeah, this oh, is the bathroom. Wow. It's also like another little garden, which That's is so cool. super random. That door, in my room, this door to this thing doesn't actually open. But in this one, it does. See, like, look how weird <laughs> what? this Look how weird this little space is. Like, why <laughs> does this exist? I guess for more broke entrepreneurs, yeah, yeah. pitch other tents. <laughs> like you guys can live here. <laughs> like, this is this is no, this is perfect for like a little dog yard. Yeah, right. I mean, cool. maybe getting a puppy. Super <laughs> I know where to right. keep one if, if we do get one. I'm like, please, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, you guys have a beautiful pool. Also, quick shout out. And then my room. My favorite part of the house is this coffee nook. It makes me so happy. It is quite cute. Okay. This is my room. It's a little bit messy room. This is Cara's room. Um, this, this is very really cool. This is my cool. bathroom. So it's like, wow. it's kind of weird because there's like bath here and then like this weird little half outdoor bit with the shower. Huh. I know, I'm like, what? <laughs> The architect so was cute. very, very. Trippy. This is so That's cool. On the wall. <laughs> okay, read some to us. My word of the year is thrive. Okay. So we're just gonna thrive this year. That's the whole thing. Love it. Um, I am so much more powerful than I think. Live. You aren't getting out of this alive. Write the most beautiful story imaginable. Be where your feet are. Take nothing personally. Trust in divine timing. Keep going. It takes time. If you feel yourself chasing, let go. It is perfect. It is written. Become aligned. Then let go. It's on its way. It is already yours. All of these. I love them. Beautiful. And then also, weirdly, when they show you who they are, believe them. So needed. Mm. If you're a people pleaser, that one's for you. Mm. <laughs> I love it. I love um, some good affirmations and um, quotes. It's a powerful way to just remind yourself on the daily what is needed and in order to mm. keep your mindset in the correct place. And we have, oh God, oh! 
Nein! 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 Oh my god, look at how red my eye is. Look at it. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Bali. There's lots of bugs here. Kai, right. what do you pay for your little villa here in the heart of Changu? Well, we got this in COVID. We pay 18 million a month. So that's around $1,200, $1,300 yeah. US dollars? Yeah, yeah, something like Not that. Not bad for a private villa in the heart of Changu. Yeah. Their location is very ideal. It's super close to all the amazing cafes. It's literally a minute away from the beach. It's quiet, surrounded by beautiful palm trees, yeah. two private rooms, a lovely lounge, yeah. kitchen, yeah. some construction. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, take yeah. back the quiet part. <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> That's one thing about <gasps> Bali is that there is a never-ending amount of construction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and always they don't construction. Take a day off. Yeah, they don't. They work seven days a week. Seven days a week, seven twenty-four days. hours a day. This is ideal. You know, having your own private little place, your creativity can flow. Pretty much, your your location and your base is such an important place. It's very important to make your living space <laughs> as comfortable as possible in order for you to get that creativity flowing in order to you know wake up feeling enthusiastic about your location about where you live and that really does help a lot it's changed my life a lot because i was moving i literally moved house every month or two months for about a year Everybody gets so extra we found another <laughs> hidden talent of Kara. She is a musician. Well, I'm so above you. No, that's not the correct. Hold on. <laughs> so above you, and it's to see. But I came to love you anyway. So you. Like the vanilla version of that. Like don't, sometimes. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been a pleasure introducing you to one of my great friends here. <laughs> it's so important to have such a good community of like-minded mm. people because they're gonna inspire you and push you to next levels. And Kara has done just that for me, and it's <laughs> it's amazing to see the dedication and hard work that this girl puts into her career. I hope she can inspire a lot of you people to follow your dreams, never ever give up. With sheer determination and hard work, mm. you will find success. So true, well said. Goodbye my neighbors, Bye. see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>